video, I kind of tried to recreate the look from Euphoria, which if you haven't seen Euphoria, it uses a lot of color contrast and complementing colors to convey emotion, and there's all other cinematographers breakdowns on YouTube already, so I won't really get into that, but the main points that I wanted to cover in this video and how you can create this look yourself is lighting, colors, and bokeh, bokeh. I don't know how to pronounce that. So when looking at Euphoria, they use complementing colors. So there's always like orange and teal that everyone uses for orange for skin tones and teal for more shadows and anything else other than skin tones. But in Euphoria, they kind of take this to the next level and not just sticking to that. And they open it up and use basically the whole color spectrum. So for my little recreation, um, I actually went on my front porch and since we're decorating for Christmas now, we had our Christmas decorations all up and the lights were already changed. So the pot lights were green and red. So it was perfect for what I was trying to do. All I did to add a little more light to the scene so there wasn't so much noise in the shadows was just add in, oh, does this die? Oh, it didn't, oh God. Okay. I thought it died, I didn't even have that on. I um, just actually used this light and another one with a red and green gels to add a little more light to the scene so there wasn't so much grain. And this added the perfect color contrast because red and green are actually on the complete opposite ends of the spectrum. And then on top of that, third point that I said was bokeh or bokeh. Um, and this in Euphoria was aesthetically pleasing because of the lenses that they used, which I don't have like the budget for those lenses. I'm pretty sure they were the, the RE Prime DNA lenses, which give a really sharp, but also soft sort of fade to the background, which I don't have this, but I kind of recreated myself in editing. This was easily done. I just took my clip and duplicated it, added lens blur onto the top clip, and then I just masked out myself or whatever subject you want. Oh, and feathered it. Make sure you feathered it. Basically to just isolate your subject and blur out the background. And the important thing to do with your lens blur is kind of play with the opacity curve because in Euphoria, the lenses kind of make it so the light is bright on the outside of that little circle and the more inner part of it is darker. To recreate that, uh, just play with the opacity curve and the lens blur effect. And that is pretty much it. With those three different points, that is the whole euphoria look for you that you can recreate. Lighting, color contrast, and bokeh. So, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Turn this off before the battery dies, but it's Christmas.